Luke, one all draw in the Dublin Derby is a two point shot. Definitely, yeah, you know, I felt we were the better team. A quite an even game, but I thought we were the better team. And to be one nil up with, you know, what was it? What did they score in 83 maybe? 80, yeah. yeah, that's that's two points dropped. Um, and unfortunately we've we haven't won enough of those tight games this season and um, you know it's another one gone tonight. Yeah, it's eleven draws for a season, it's quite an amount. How do you go about as a group trying to turn those draws into wins? We seem very, very close to it. Yeah, I mean I don't think it's anything that you can do on the training pitch. It's not a tactical thing, it's uh, probably more of a belief thing. You know, we need to get across the line a couple of those games and, and that just breeds confidence and that becomes a habit then, you know, you, you're one of them with 10 minutes to go in a game like tonight and you can draw on the experience of having won those games and right now we probably haven't won enough of them. Um, so that's you know the next step for this team because look, 11 draws, best defensive record in the league, you know, there's, there's positives there but it's like we're close to being a really good team. Um, and having you know really good points total, but look, we're still right in the hunt for fourth going into the last what ten twelve games. With that best defensive record, we've obviously played with a back three or back five, whatever way you want to put it. Has the rate changed your back four now in the last couple of weeks? Where does that stem from, or is it the main phrase will go forward a little bit? Maybe? It's a four four two without the ball, and it's still a three box three with the ball. And um, so, you know, Gav Malloy, Jad, Evan Caffrey, the players on the side are asked to nearly play two roles. Um, it's just a different way of pressing, you know, it gets someone up alongside Boydie. I think against a team like Bowles tonight, flatten off their back four, it's less work for that single striker. And it allows, it does allow you, you know, obviously in theory you're a man down at the back, but it allows you to get further up the pitch. And I think we won the ball back really high a lot tonight, you know, Evan Caffrey, Jad, all four of them up there won the ball back in their third a lot. So it's been a great change by the manager recently, I think it's, it's worked. Is that a responsibility you just take on your shoulders? You say there you maybe lose a player defensively, but you have to just take that on your shoulder and take the risk, maybe? Yeah, but well, I mean, you've got no choice, you know. It's um, I'm working with the best, you know, definitely in the country and far beyond, I would say, in Joey O'Brien in terms of a defensive coach who's played so many roles at the highest level. So, like, you know, he would say to me, like, Luke, it's, you know, it's all about positioning and, um, you know, just being focused all the time. You know, you, you don't have to get yourself into big long foot races if your position is good and you're reading the game and you're managing the bodies around you uh, at different times. So I felt like we did do that tonight. You know, I felt that there was a lot of elements of the performance that the manager and that will be happy with. But again, unfortunately, we just haven't got across the line. And that's, like I said earlier, that is the next step for this team is to see out those big moments. Your own performance tonight was probably typical of your performance or trying your body in the way of crosses and shots we had with your own performance tonight. Yeah, I mean I was, we've watched the goal back and you know, there's a few of us up there honest with ourselves saying like, you know, oh you should have done this, oh you could have done that, so I definitely had a role to play in the goal. Um, so that's what I remember when I closed the eyes tonight, but fuck, I haven't played in the league in five, six weeks, so um, I just wanted to come in and try and keep my place, you know, I just want to make sure I'm playing next week and I felt I got myself on the end of some things in the box and yeah, overall I was quite happy with how I played, but I got home and watched it tonight and uh, speak to Joey in the morning and we'll have a, I'll have an honest assessment then. There was a change of shape just leading up to the goal, the manager and the other two there in his own post Do you think maybe there was a bit of a bad in period there that maybe we got caught a little bit? No, I mean, we knew straight away. I mean, in fairness, we flipped back to a formation that we've played far more often, so I don't think there's like an adjustment period. I think uh, as a team, we just struggled to hold on to the ball that last 15 minutes. You know, we'd win it back. And you have to keep it from one or two passes to take the pressure off and go up the pitch, and we just didn't do that, you know. Uh, and like, nah, because even if you look at the goal, uh, we have bodies in decent positions or areas. It's not like we were a man down here or someone, you know, didn't understand their role. It wasn't the case that it was more just individual little errors that got punished. Another special atmosphere in the Dublin Derby. Did you ever get bored of it? Nah, and that's you know they're the ones that you'll miss when you hang them up. They that they are like. Said to the lads yesterday, I've trained. Like they might look at me and say, "Look, it's 23 games into a league season. What are you talking about?" But if if you win a game like that tonight, you'll remember it for forever. Genuinely, you know, beating them here one 0 at the start of the year, the cup game last year, I'll never forget those games because that's what it means. And the new lads are all very aware of what it means to play against Bowes when you play for this club. You know, it's it is different to every other game, and we need to like you know some lads experience for the first time tonight. The likes of Evan Caffrey and that it's their second, third. Um, 
you know, experience of it, and like that'll serve them well going into the game next week because next week is massive, and again, it's there's, it's a derby and there's hatred. How does the prep for next week change now playing them so close together? Would you be expecting them to make changes next week, or is it kind of just dust yourself down? And no, I think it's again? dust yourselves down and go head to head again. You know, I think um, I don't know. We, we we could change of shape, personnel, definitely. I think we've got quite a fluid squad that can do different things, and the manager can can change it up. Bowls. Not that I would study them, but to me they look to say, play a similar way all the time. And it's effective for them, you know, they've got players that are match winners and fairness to them. And they play that 4 3 3 with two sixes, and I'd be surprised if that's not how they play next week. But look, yeah, it's a chance to have a look at each other tonight and size each other up, and they might have seen something in us. We might see something in them, I'm sure we would have, that we'll work on during the week. But um, well, I think it's, it's great, yeah, that bit of tension builds for another week. I love it. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Dad.